I am Ashmore and I wanted to give you guys a bit of a pup date on our dogs. We just took them all to the vet and I'm very excited to say that we've got pretty much complete clean bills of health for all five of our dogs. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on, sorry if you hear anyone start to growl or anything like that. Everyone's starting to come into the room and be nosy and whatnot. So I wanted to give you guys an update on how their vet appointment went and how all of that uh, went. So I think I'm going to start from youngest to oldest. So youngest being Elkin. Elkin is our little wild animal. She is crazy. She needs to be kind of kept on a short leash when she's outside because she will almost always find a way to get herself into a situation she may not be able to get herself out of. So we did get her her rabies shot. We were just there for a checkup. Um, I've never, since moving up here, I've never encountered fleas. All of our dogs got fleas when we got up here. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to go about that, so we wanted to get them a vet appointment to make sure that they are healthy. We have them on a whole flea regimen, um, so if you'd like me to delve into details on that, I would love to maybe make a video on how we try to prevent fleas and how we're taking care of our dogs. And of course, it's different for every dog, and I am not a veterinarian, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. This is just from us practicing what we're comfortable with and what our veterinarian has confirmed is good for us. So, it's different for every dog. No one dog is the same. But so Elkin did get her rabies shot. Her fleas are not as severe. Um, so if we just keep doing what we're doing, it should do away with all of that. Um, she is weighing at a whopping 45 pounds. She is our smallest baby. She is also our youngest. Um, next up is Henny. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, Henny's tail is crooked. Uh, we actually got that figured out, and that was back when she was a puppy. That was one of the first things that I wanted to make sure that it wasn't abuse-related as to why her tail is crooked the way it is, and if you'd like a video on that, I can go into detail on that. So she is weighing at, Hennessy is weighing at a whopping 60 pounds, uh, so not, not too big. I'd say she's probably our baseline for our dogs. Um, but clean bill of health on her. She is at the weight she's supposed to be at, which is insane because this girl can eat comfortably more food than any of all of our other kids, and she's still considered our tiniest. Hi, do you hear me talking about you? And again, her fleas are manageable as well. Um, but... Perfect clean bill of health on her. She is perfectly fine, perfectly okay. Uh, next, we're going to move on to Quasimodo. Quasimodo, we knew we were going to have an issue with. He is big, he's got fur, and I'm, I'm glad his health, he did get a clean bill of health. He is weighing at a whopping 105 which the veterinarian said is a bit overweight, so he wants us to get his 105 down to 80. 85 somewhere around that area for him to be at a perfect healthy weight which is fine we've cut back a little bit and he does tend to overeat moto is very food oriented and loves food and tends to try and punk the other kids out for food so we're just being more diligent making sure that he's getting exactly how much food he is supposed to have his fleas, however, were a bit more severe, and that's what we were kind of aware of, one of the reasons we were taking him in, because he has started chewing on his tail. We did get confirmation the chewing is from the fleas, and he is now on Brevecto, which uh, we were very hesitant to, which is why he is the only one on Brevecto, because he is the only one who needed Brevecto. But we have been watching his stool, we've been watching his food intake, he has not been lethargic or fatigued, so, uh, and it's been roughly almost a week of him being on the Brevecto. And it's uh, 
pill that uh, kills fleas for about two months and ticks for about eight weeks. So we've seen online that a lot of the oral medication for fleas can cause seizures in dogs. We got confirmation from our vet that yes it can, but it's usually in dogs that are prone to seizures. Luckily our kids are not. And he said we don't need the Brevecto for our other four, but for Moto it was recommended because he's got a large circumference to try and monitor fleas from. So the collars, topicals, uh, flea baths that we were doing before just wasn't enough for him. So he needed the Brevecto to kind of push him over and get him to where he needed to be. And I'm happy to confirm that after a few days, we have noticed that he is not itching nearly as much. The flea dirt on him is not nearly as bad. And I have not found fleas on him quite as often as I have the last couple of weeks prior to the vet visit. And next up for our kiddos is Lillian. Perfect clean bill of health. She is weighing in at approximately 54 pounds and her weight is good for her. She is a Malamute, but she is on the smaller side of a Malamute. She is not large by any means. She is actually our second smallest dog and she is roughly about six years old. Uh, the vet said that he could not find any fleas on her, but he has a feeling that may have to do with uh, her undercoat. So she's got two coats. Malamutes have a under fur to keep them warm and then their fluffy fur, which is more of a defense against uh, the elements, other animals, things like that. Uh, and she, Lily will, maybe I'll show a video when she goes into her next shedding. Lily puffs out during the summertime. She gets very puffy and very big like uh, I'll try to insert clips of all of the kids here as I'm talking so you'll get to see them but uh Lily is very uh very thin right now and it's got nothing to do with how she's eating she doesn't gain weight uh but she puffs out she gets very puffy during the summer and then we call her our little uh troubled model because during the winter time she loses all of that fur it's actually quite insane. I'll try and do a side-by-side -side photo of her now versus her when uh, she is completely puffed. It's quite remarkable to see. But perfect clean bill of health on her. And uh, last but not least is our Storm. Storm is older. She is our senior dog and she is an absolute angel. She's got boundaries so we always uh, warn the vets that she has very strong facial boundaries. She does not like anyone being in her face and she doesn't like anybody getting close to her mouth. So we always warn vets just as a precaution. We always offer to bring muzzles and things like that just to be safe. Uh, and the vet did not mind. This was our first time with a vet in our home. So, uh, I, we were very nervous to see how she reacts. She did perfect. She didn't growl, didn't get angry, didn't have boundaries issues. They were able to check everything. Storm does have uh, a bit of a dental problem. Uh, she's had it for years now. Um, what we were told by our previous vet is that uh, when dogs chew on their fur, it's almost like a drug and it kind of erodes away at the teeth and that's what happened to Storm. We do have them on dental wash, but... Uh, it's just something that happens mixed with her being an older dog. Um, but so with all of that being said, we're very worried about her having fleas. And completely okay. Her fleas are very manageable the way we are managing them. And we should have no, no problem getting rid of them with the steps we've been taking. We are going to eventually talk about um, if we want to do Brevecto for all of the dogs. Um... It's, honestly, it's not all that expensive and not as expensive as we thought it would be. And if it's something worth them, the money is not, not even something we're going to bat an eye at because it's something they need. But, uh, Storm does also get yeast buildup in her ears. She gets allergies and when the seasons change, she gets yeast buildup in her ears. So the vet took a look at that. Her ear canal was very closed up. The, uh medical wash that we were using to keep her ear canal clean just wasn't doing the job as well as a stronger uh, 
medical wash, so he was able to prescribe us some of that. I think it was $54, so it wasn't too bad, and she only gets it twice a week, and I mean, we did it on Thursday, and her next one is going to be on Sunday, and she's itched her ear, I think, once, which this goes from her constantly itching her ear when the season, when the uh, weather just so happens to shortly change. But uh, now she's done it once since Thursday, which is a huge feat for her. That's fantastic and phenomenal. But uh, so we now have her on that. And perfect clean bill of health other than the medical issues we already know that she has being as she is an older dog. But yeah, everybody is perfectly healthy, everybody's perfectly happy, everybody's eating correctly and the right amount except for Moto, which we're working on. We're getting gonna get him down to a more manageable weight for him, something that'll make him more comfortable. He also, being as big as he is, because he is our biggest husky, and he is on the larger side, we do have him on hip and joint supplements. And we've had him on these for the last few months now, just because he's only three years old. But when he gets older, we want his joints and his hips to be well enough for him to be able to move well into his older age. With our previous dog, Munster, we had ended up getting him a wheelchair. Because he was 148 pounds when he got older, it was harder for him to move on his hips. He's, he's an older boy. It just happened. And so, unfortunately, he is no longer with us, and like I said, when I'm okay enough and I still don't cry over talking about him, I will talk about that. But it still hits very close. I didn't get as much time with Munster as I've gotten with the other four. With the other three, I'm sorry. I have had Hennessy her whole life. Chris has had our other five dogs his whole life. So I had, when we came into a relationship, we had six. But that only left me with about a year with Munster, and that wasn't enough time for me. I wish I had more time with him, which everyone says that about everybody, about their animals, their loved ones, their friends, family. It's just never enough time. And I honestly, I don't know if 10 years would have been enough time. I just know that Life is a lot quieter, and there is definitely a hole in my heart about 145 pounds worth of a Malamute missing from my heart. But the the fact that in my soul I know that he is happier, it made the decision that we had to make a hard but what needed to happen for him. But I did want to just give you guys a pup date and let you guys know how the kids were doing and they're all completely healthy. Their fleas are manageable. It is not an infestation as much as it is one or two fleas jump on them every so often and all it takes is one or two. They lay eggs and it can, if you don't manage it, it can become a severe problem and that's what we're trying to prevent from happening. We want them to be as comfortable and as happy as possible and we want them to just live their lives and be wild dogs all the time. But like I said, I will do my best to insert clips and if I haven't, I'm sorry I couldn't figure out how to do it, but I'm gonna try to figure that out. I'm still learning at all of this editing stuff and back when I used to do YouTube, I only did Let's Plays. So I'm trying to broaden my horizons and try new different sort of things and one of those things are my dogs. I love my dogs to pieces. I want to document everything they do. I want to talk to people about their dogs and so with that being said, if you have dogs, cats, reptiles, birds, anything, if you have livestock, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about your beautiful babies. And if you want to see more of my be beautiful babies, you can go over onto my Instagram. It's pretty much the only photos I post is of all of them. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the update about my dog. That's pretty cool. I love all five of my dogs with all my heart. And they are the best things to ever happen to me. And 
couldn't be more thrilled to have them in my lives. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you all have a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon, and a wonderful evening. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!